Yo yo yo, what is going on guys, Boy, Physical Online, today bringing you the final map pack in the Awakening DLC in Black Ops 3, the new DLC that dropped out, and it is the 3 in 1 map gauntlet, as we all know by now, it is a 3 way concept, and 3 concept maps into 1, so it's the jungle side on the left hand side, we got the snow map which will always be down the center of the map, and also on the right hand side to me, it is the actual urban sort of street side, so it's kind of a 3 way concept into 1, I kind of like the idea from Trey to integrate three different styles three different designs into one whole map which doesn't really work in my opinion I think it's a bit too much for Kyle in a sense I think they should have kept it kind of plain and simple but they're trying something new which I can you know give credit to Treyarch for actually trying something and trying to experiment and see what they can come up to as you can see now I'm in the jungle side of the map which is really really done well I gotta say obviously the map packs are done to a really really high standard their maps just look amazing they're finished off and like I said many times they've been polished off really really well and um, so I gotta say you know congrats to Treyarch for bringing out really really good DLC but in terms of all I'm gonna say I gotta say rising number one for me then it's gonna be Splash, Skyjack, then Gauntlet. Obviously, Gauntlet is just not one of those maps that plays well in a, in a Call of Duty game. For me personally, I don't think it plays well. So, let's get into this gameplay for today's video. I managed to pull up a nuclear, oh yeah, a nuclear in this gameplay as well. So, I was using the XR2 as my class setup is on the screen as well. I'm gonna start doing this quite regularly now, put my class setup on the screen, which I kinda should have done at the beginning of the game but I just kind of just you know stayed away from it but kind of explained it in the video so my class setup is on the screen I presume I was using the ELO side you can see and uh, what my attachments on it I was using rapid fire stuck and what's the other one high caliber there were the attachments I was running in this game and I was also running the launcher as well because obviously I'm going for the dark matter camo and I'm trying to get my launches up now because obviously the DLCs dropped and loads of people are using UAVs so it's just so easy to actually get all the launcher kind of um, why is it UAV destroyed and all that sort of stuff so it's kind of easy to get it that's why I'm running the launcher because there's so many UAVs coming up in the map so far but it doesn't matter when your boys got haters in the game your boys got haters are galore and I just managed to pull off a nice I think at 38 kills without dying within this gameplay using the specialists of the site in this gameplay as well so easy nuclear I like the map it's, it's decent, not my favorite, but it's decent, you know, it's, it's okay, it'll do, but obviously if any other map comes in the rotation, I'll be sure to pick that map over this map any day, purely because I like the other maps better, Rise is definitely the number one top dog in terms of maps, man, I just, I just love that map, it just it just works so well in a, in a Treyarch game, and you know, in a card game in general, it just works so well, uh, and I like playing, but I got really close here, man, I nearly died then, man, just grabbing my roof left. But overall, XR2, I gotta say, it is possibly the most dominant gun in terms of the ARs now. I've been seeing a lot of the XR2s and also the Man of Wars. They're the kind of two popular guns I've been seeing quite frequently now since, you know, there's been patches to M8s and stuff like that. The Shiva's all is gonna be dominant, but obviously that little tweak, what they've done with Rapid Fire, has kind of made the M8 a bit, you know, kind of wavy in, in a sense, you get me? I don't know what it is, but uh, Rapid Fire doesn't really work on the M8 anymore. I think Quick Draw Long Barrel is the way to go on the M8. But on the XR2, Rapid Fire works perfectly well. I was dropping people with one burst in this game. Uh, so obviously that needs to be addressed in some sort of way because the XR2 is really, really powerful. And I think it's the number one burst AR at this moment. Uh, I don't think anything else can rival it at this moment in time. But I really like the gun. I just randomly just started to use it in this gameplay. And then, uh, you know, I managed to pull off a nuclear in the video. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And uh, nevertheless, and I've got videos coming up fairly soon as well. I've got some supply drop videos coming up. Also, I'm um, going to be doing some more wall running spots in the other maps as well. Because obviously I've only uploaded one map. And that should be out today as well. A few hours after this one. So stay tuned for that video. And if you have liked this video, don't forget to leave it a like rating. But let the rest of the video play out for the rest of the minute or two, whatever it is. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed. It's your boy Physical Alright, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace. Oh, boy. Nuclear, baby.